On August 30th, 2023, Hurricane Idalia made landfall and ravaged Florida's Big Bend. And you know what's in the area? Pelicamp, our North Florida retreat. This area had not been hit by a major hurricane in over a hundred years. We monitored our remote cameras incessantly until we saw a tree fall across the street. The first of many, and then power went out. We had no way of knowing the extent of the damage until a few days later when neighbors and friends sent a few pictures. It didn't look good. We had to leave soon for the Hershey RV show anyway, so we decided to leave a few days early, assess the damage, and then continue. This will be a true RV lifestyle road trip, as we're gonna stay at a truck stop, at a KOA, mooch docking with friends, and even at Cracker Barrel. We'll eat the local fast food and cook our own meals, and let's see what other trouble we can get ourselves into. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. I said fall, but it is really late summer. September 3rd, to be exact. Early in the morning, so we can make it to Pelicamp with enough daylight to figure things out. Well, good morning. It's been five days since uh, Hurricane Idalia destroyed a lot of stuff on the, on the Florida Panhandle coast. And uh, that's where our North Florida retreat Pelicamp is located. And uh, we've seen pictures. We've lost our shed. We've lost some, some trees. So we're driving up to do a little bit of cleaning up. So um, here we go. We're taking the turnpike, which many years ago I vowed never to take again, only to eat my words once we bought Pelicamp. It is still boring, but without a doubt, by far the quickest and most efficient way. get close to the area, we see a lot of downed trees and power lines. You can tell a major storm went through here, but they are working on the recovery already. Anyway, we've made it to Pelicamp. Let's get a first look from the outside because we're not gonna be able to do that later. Oh boy. I think the main thing here is going to be clearing this driveway. So we'll take it one branch at a time. I'm happy to report that Taylor the Pelican made it. That's a good omen. Well, it seems like the well is unscathed. All right, let's back. Let's back in the trailer in here. And uh, and as I said, one stick at a time. I did a video about all this right after it happened, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. I'll just put a link to that video right here. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon, cereal reinvented. I want to share with you the amazing benefits of Magic Spoon cereal. 
They have this childlike nostalgia thing going on with the tastes that you remember, but with the ingredients upgraded for the 21st century. A high protein meal or treat that you can enjoy at any time of the day. 0 to 1 grams of sugar, only 4 to 5 grams of net carbs, 130 calories per serving, and it is high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, and naturally flavored. Tell you what, today I'm in the mood for maple waffle so. Let's check it out. Let's give it the taste test. It is not only the taste, it is the smell. Mm. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own custom box with all the flavors you love and use my code TRAVELING for $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa or fruity, frosted, peanut butter or maple waffle. Plus, other awesome flavors include honey nut, blueberry muffin, birthday cake, cinnamon roll and chocolate chip cookie. You can also add their marshmallow and chocolate peanut butter cereal treats to your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident about their product, it is backed with 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money. No questions asked. So start the new year off right by clicking the link below and using my code TRAVELING for $5 off or just go to magicspoon.com slash TRAVELING to save $5 of your order today. And also for my Canadian and British fans, Magic Spoon also ships to Canada and the UK. I don't know if you can tell, but it is hot out there. <laughs> well, today we begin a... Let me lower the AC a little bit. Today we begin a new mini adventure here. Uh, obviously, we're going to the Hershey RV show, which of course, by the time this video comes out, you would have already seen those videos. Uh, but uh, we're going to make a little road trip out of it. So... Let's do it. Let's see if I can make the turnaround here in Pelicamp because I believe it is narrower than before. In fact, Minitini 3 may not have made it. We'll be back in a couple of weeks for the cleanup. There are trees and debris piled up everywhere. This is gonna take a while. This hurricane certainly put Perry on the map, if only for a few days. We're now driving through downtown Perry typical small-town America, it is quite nice actually, and there's not that much hurricane damage considering what the storm did to all the trees. They call this area forest capital of Florida, and now after going under I-10, we'll soon be in Georgia. Oh, thank you. We don't have a super long drive today. We're staying at Love's RV Stop in Cordell. Over the past couple of years, Love's Travel Stops, they have been developing RV parks in their truck stops, which are, I must say, hit or miss. But this one seems to be one of the newer and nicer ones. When you make the reservation online, you get a text and an email with the gate code, and the link to check in, which you must click in order to turn on the power pedestal. These are all right of the interstate, so very convenient to overnight on a long road trip. I have never had Bojangles before, so let's check it out. You know, fried chicken is one of my favorite things. Mmm, fried chicken. Bon appetit. Well, just encountered a viewer back there. It's getting dark here. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon here at the Loves. And I don't know if, if I was really hungry or I had never had bows before, but it might be my new favorite fried chicken. I don't know. And uh, another thing about this Loves RV stop, if this one becomes the, like, the, 
the template for all the other ones, right? I think some of, some of the, the small ones we've been to, they have been like made after the fact. This is a brand new Loves. They did it from scratch and it's like, a, like, like an honest to God RV park. I mean, all they need is a swimming pool, really. So uh, they even have like a, like a water park for, for kids back there. This is probably the best one we stayed at so far. I believe it was like $42. It isn't cheap. It isn't cheap for for being right here next to the semi trucks, but it is clean. Everything works. Quick overnight, right next to I-75. That's all we really needed tonight. Tomorrow, but we don't know exactly where we're going yet. Good morning. Time really got away from us this morning. Let me tell you, it's uh, five minutes till till noon, which is checkout time here at the at the Loves RV stop. We're gonna drive about three hours towards Appalachia. Hopefully, the temperatures will be a little cooler up there. Slowly making our way. Oh, we need to get propane. Well, as much as I praise the RV park, I feel the opposite about this particular loves. These are the rudest, most inept people I've encountered in a very long time. As I said earlier, time has really gotten away from us today. I mean, we wasted about a half an hour in that loves. I mean, nobody knows what they're doing in there. That loves is not getting my business again unless I'm running on fumes. And um, well, now we're gonna see if we can get some sausages and we'll get whatever. We, we don't have a reservation today, so whenever we get to wherever we get, whenever four o'clock hits, unless we are stuck in traffic in Atlanta, Whenever four o'clock hits, we're gonna look for an RV park. We're back on I-75, and there are several places along the way that sell sausages, pecans, you know, local Georgia products. And today we're not in any particular hurry, so we're going to visit a couple of those. Like Ellis Brothers, for example. They have a pretty large billboard. Let me tell you, advertising works. I believe some of these are pecan trees. Well, let's go get some pecans in Georgia. It's so hot. Pecans, peaches, it doesn't get much more Georgia than that, right? Yep, these are my favorite. Well, we went nuts because we're nuts. We got some nuts and some cheese. Next up, Perry, Perry, Georgia. Here at this fairgrounds is where the Family Motor Coach Association holds their annual rally. I'm not a member, so I've never been. And the reason we're here, sausages. By the way, it looks like it is going to rain. We always see all these country stores advertised on billboards along the interstate. And we've been to SL and Carol's. And today we're trying striplings. Well, we got pecans, we got sausages and wine, actually. <laughs> what else could we possibly need? Oh, buckies! Ooh, maybe the hurricane came through here, too. Experiencing a very refreshing rain here in Georgia. Actually, it's starting to rain harder. Let's hurry up. Bucky's. <laughs> one We're gonna get ourselves some Texas barbecue in Georgia. Well, here's lunch, maybe even dinner too. It's, it's raining hard now. Let's do it. Got the brisket sandwich, as always, and a cheesesteak burrito. It's probably good. Well, a little bit of a change of plan. We're gonna stay at a, 
at a KOA actually one that we've never stayed at uh, we called a couple of places that didn't answer the phone a lot of places were fully booked because tomorrow is Friday and sometimes it's just convenient We have decided to avoid Atlanta altogether and take a slightly more easterly route. Here we are, and the minute we arrive, we realize we've been here before. This is the one with all the rail cars. Ooh, this site is pretty steep. Well, we'll see how it goes. I just realized we've been here before. This is not gonna be great for Starlink, but there's some AT&T and there's some Verizon, so we should be okay. Um, I may or may not unhitch today. Maybe tomorrow we'll go uh, explore the area a little bit. There's bad weather coming, so we're just gonna hunker down, get some work done, and tomorrow we continue north. At least we got to do a couple of the things that, uh, you know, because I'm always in a hurry. I had never been able to do like, like stop at one of the sausage places. And, uh, and yeah, we, we made some of the, the stops that we wanted to make. And then the day after tomorrow, we're gonna spend some time uh, with our friends in Waynesville. And then, then Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's a nice campground. It's a very steep site to, to back it in here. We did it. Let's go for a walk around the campground. Actually, it is a very nice RV park, and you can tell there are some permanent residents, which can be a negative sometimes, but everything looks pretty well maintained and clean. Let's check out the beach area. We definitely owe it to ourselves to spend more time here and enjoy the facilities. Maybe even rent a pontoon boat, if I can learn how to drive it. These pontoons, they look like they've seen better days, but apparently they do rent them here. If and when we come back, we do want one of these lakefront sites. Maybe if I ever get a boat, bring it here. These are pretty cool. Oh, very nice campground. I mean, there's not a square inch of, uh, of flat terrain here, but yeah. Some, sometime we must return and get one of those lakefront sites or one of the pull throughs back there with the little veranda. 
let's grill some of the goodies we bought at Striplings yesterday. Everybody. Yeah, as you can see, we're, uh, you know, grilling some of the stuff we bought yesterday. The skewers seem to be a Canadian product, believe it or not. And, uh, well, this afternoon we'll see what we do. It's going to be mostly a work day, which is kind of a waste of such a beautiful place, but sometimes you got to do it. Of course, we chose the one place without Starlink to, to make it a work day, but... to town into Greensboro there's a brewery called Oconee Brewing Company we gotta treat ourselves after a long day of work but we had to do it videos had to be edited our time at home base in Miami was a lot shorter than expected because of the hurricane I was hoping to catch up on work but couldn't Here we are, Oconee Brewing. Chero Cola, never heard of it. And they have a food truck. Oconee Brewing. where they make the beer. Cheers. Today we continue north. Destination Waynesville, North Carolina. We're going to Mooch Dock with longtime friends Roberto and Zulema. Roberto, fellow musician, band leader. It is a nice, easy drive on the back roads of Georgia. Not necessarily scenic, not yet anyway, but it certainly beats the White Knuckle Atlanta crossing. Driving through some of these small towns, it almost feels like we've jumped back in time, into a different era.
Here we are, going over I-85, and these types of commercial areas by the interstate, they all kind of look the same. Oh, I see mountains in the distance, we are approaching the Appalachians. Oh, it was all going so well. What's going on here? What's going on over there? At least, from afar, it doesn't look very serious, but I could be wrong. It looks like he's trying to put a hook on it. Yep, yep. he's pulling it. It is kind of tangled up on the fence, but he's making progress. Yep, hopefully we'll be underway soon. changes on the road. Boom. Welcome to North Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina. Oh, thank you. This is one of my favorite drives, US 23, the Great Smoky Mountains Expressway. Here we are. There's no need to unhitch or drive today. Zoo is gonna be our DD. So we're going downtown to an old familiar place. Believe me, this is like the fourth time we moosh dog here. Roberto and I have played together for several years, since at least the mid 2000s, so there are many stories to tell. Mostly retell. He's originally from Santiago in eastern Cuba. And while the vegetation is somewhat different, the topography is certainly reminiscent of the Sierra Maestra Mountains. I think it is cool they decided to move to this area. Here we are arriving in downtown Waynesville, and we're going to take a wild guess. A brewery! This one is called Frog Level Brewing Company, named after the historic district where it is located. I guess most people are outside because there is live music. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let me tell you something, I wouldn't mind at all getting a piece of land somewhere around here, surrounded by all these mountains. Pelicamp, Appalachia perhaps? Someday? Let's go into Asheville. Roberto has been telling me about Sunday brunch at this rooftop Cuban restaurant with live music and they have been going pretty much every Sunday. He's got his maracas and his cajon and the yearning to get his music fix. 
Here's the famous Grove Arcade, so we're going to park somewhere around here. And we've made it to Asheville. May the festivities begin. Roberto got the cajon, and we're good. This is the famous Grove Arcade. Very cool, I think we have to go across the street. At the Cambria. No, it's the Cambria. And today is Kubusa. Of course, the rooftop affords great views of the Blue Ridge. We haven't even sat down at our table and Roberto is already on stage singing. I think we're going to revisit Asheville on the return trip. It is such a cool town. We've been here before, but there's still a couple of places I want to explore, so we'll revisit the San Francisco of the South towards the tail end of this trip. I got a mojito and Illy got something called sundown in Havana. Cassava fries, croquettes, empanadas. While Roberto and Kubusa band keep at it on stage. I don't know how much of this I can show you without getting in trouble with the copyright owners. Although a lot of these Cuban traditional tunes must be in the public domain by now. Well, at least you get a taste of what it was like. As the sun wants to come out, here's one last view of the Blue Ridge as we're getting ready to head back to Waynesville and then say goodbye. As we must continue towards Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's where we're going. This was filmed in September 2023 and we are on our way to the Hershey RV show. journey continues. We still have many miles ahead of us. Asheville, see you in a couple of weeks. Taking I-26 West crossing the mountains into Tennessee. Almost at the top. And do you know what's at the top? The state line. Welcome to Tennessee. It always amazes me how the weather can change once you cross a mountain range. An hour later, we are in Virginia. Here's a little bit of trivia. This town, Withville, is the place where we dry camped for the first time, at Walmart. I don't think this Walmart allows overnight parking anymore, but Cracker Barrel does, so that's where we're staying. All the reviews online said it was a steep hill, and it is. It is also a little tight, but we'll manage. Anyway, let's go eat. Beautiful setting here. 
It is fried chicken sundae. Mm. Cracker barrel with a view. But very off level. It is going to be another almost all day drive to Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I won't bore you with the minutia. Crossing into West Virginia, which is probably the state with the most peculiar shape, it's got panhandles sticking out in almost every direction. And now crossing the Potomac into Maryland. And the Mason-Dixon line into Pennsylvania. That would be Harrisburg, the capital. The next few days you've already seen, our almost annual pilgrimage to the Hershey RV show. But just in case you haven't, I'll put a link to that playlist. For the first few nights, we were able to book the last available site at the Hershey Park campground. Had we been a few feet longer, we would have been out of luck. From the Hershey RV Show, 2023 Hershey RV Show here. After the RV show, the road will take us west. What adventures could possibly await? We'll soon find out as we drive across what is known as the Rust Belt. We're gonna spend one night at a campground near Pittsburgh so we can do laundry, dump our tanks, all that good stuff. And then we're going to Ohio. As someone born and raised in the city, I have always been curious about farm equipment and what it does, how it works, how our food goes from the field to the supermarket shelf. So we're going to the Ohio State University Farm Science Review. We'll also be joined by our friends, the Forries from Ohio. After that, we'll stop by the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum in Wapakoneta, and then we'll join fellow RVing YouTubers, or YouTubing RVers, you know, fun with friends in general at the M23 meetup at the Lake of Dreams campground in Michigan. And then there's even more to come. Until then, thank you so much for watching. And see you on the road. Wherever I wanna be, guys, I'm free. My career. Riding in my